The Big Bang Theory's Kaylee Cuoco listed her California mansion just as the final episodes of her mega-hit series aired. Located in Tarzana, a San Fernando Valley neighborhood in Los Angeles, Cuoco's home is gorgeous, though that should go without saying. Here's a detailed look at her abode. When Cuoco purchased her sprawling Mediterranean-style mansion back in 2014, the previous owner had already gotten the house professionally decorated by interior designer Jeff Andrews. And because this is LA, the previous owner just happened to be Khloe Kardashian. As Cuoco wrote in the foreword of the interior designer's book, The New Glamour, I fell in love with the house, but also everything that came with it. The actress also recruited Andrews to help her personalize the mansion even more. The interior designer wrote in his book, Kaylee asked for a home with vibrant energy, something that captured her own voice. Kaylee is so drop-dead funny that it felt as if I was translating her cheerful disposition into the design itself. The interior of Cuoco's home is stunning, but the home's exterior and location are also spectacular. It's one of 10 homes in the super private and gated and guarded Mulholland Park. Despite the small community, the mansion still sits on a sizable three-quarter acre lot. The car court at the front of the home features a Mediterranean fountain and plenty of space for guest parking. Several large palm trees accent the front of the villa and tower above the terracotta tile roof. The backyard is somehow even more impressive. The property offers the feeling of a resort thanks to its large pool with water features a spa, fire pits, an outdoor kitchen, and a covered arbor. The wraparound balcony also allows for a near panoramic view of the property, which is surrounded by lush vegetation and mature trees. If you were to enter the front door of Cuoco's Mediterranean-inspired mansion, your jaw would likely drop to the dramatic two-story foyer and sweeping staircase, which, according to the listing, sets the tone for this breathtaking home. We'd say that's definitely accurate. A large modern pendant provides a focal point in the center of the room. Mirrors were also added to the second-story walls, which makes the already impressive foyer appear more grand. From the hall, you can enter one of several arched entrances which will lead you to the living room, dining room, or family room, all connected to the kitchen. Head up the staircase and you'll find Cuoco's collection of eight unusual and playful portraits on the second floor. A set of French doors opposite the stairway leads to a small balcony overlooking the front of the home. It's pretty much the epitome of modern opulence. Andrews used lots of color for Cuoco's home. Just off the foyer, the sunken living room is most certainly welcoming and cheery. Citing the interior designer's book, people reported that one of the rugs in the room was custom-made to match the colors in the actress's favorite painting. If your eyes were immediately drawn to the bright textiles in the room, you might have missed that it's not just one wall that's covered in wallpaper. The entire space, even the ceiling, is cloaked in black and white wallpaper. Although the minimalist aesthetic has picked up steam in recent years, Cuoco has certainly not abandoned her love of color or pattern. Pops of color may not have been the only thing you spotted in Cuoco's living room. Cuoco revealed that she had a swing in her mansion in an interview on Jimmy Kimmel Live, saying, So, I kind of like weird stuff. I sent it, an email to my decorator. I said, hey, I, what do you think? I know this is crazy. What do you think about having a swing in my house? But that's all I wrote. And he didn't respond to me for a while. Cuoco thought it would be a cool idea and didn't think much about how that might have sounded over email. Later, though, Andrews finally sent her a response. He's like, are you thinking like in the bedroom? Like what kind of swing? He thought I was like a sex swing. I'm like, no, I just want like a normal <laughs> living room swing. The actress thought that it would be nice to be able to watch TV while swinging her legs. However, she said her dogs have claimed it as their own. She joked, it's the most expensive dog bed I've ever bought. In June 2017, Andrew shared an in-progress picture of the large alcove and built-in bar on Instagram. He captioned the photo, Sneak peek at the bar we just installed, I'm obsessed. The combination of white and gold geometric tiles with the marble countertop and gold faucet was drool-worthy even before it was finished. Now that it's styled to Cuoco's Mad Men-esque taste, it's that much more impressive. Like the living room, the bar space features the same black and white wallpaper on the ceiling and sidewalls. There are also pieces of vivid artwork, modern lucite bar stools, and of course, copious amounts of booze and barware. The actress gushed about the addition to her home in an interview with People magazine, calling it so badass. We can definitely understand why Cuoco was filmed in this space. Drink in hand, 
during her interview with Vogue back in March 2018. There is a central theme running throughout Kuoko's home, horses. The sitcom star was an avid horseback rider until 2010 when a freak accident resulted in a serious injury that nearly required her to have her foot amputated. Kuoko told People, All the horse touches in the house make it feel like home. Despite her injury, Kuoko told The Talk ahead of the Big Bang Theory series finale that she was looking forward to getting back into competitive horseback riding. As Kuoko explained, I'm an equestrian. I love horses. I'd actually really like to challenge myself a little bit more in that area. Kuoko isn't the only equestrian that lives in the Tarzana mansion, though. Her husband, Carl Cook, is also an accomplished horseback rider. We love imagining the couple starting their mornings in their breakfast nook, complete with its horse print Hermes wallpaper. Kuoko's kitchen is a chef's dream. While she's not a professional, Kuoko does admit she likes cooking. Back when she shared her home with her now ex, Ryan Sweeting, she told Redbook, I cook for Ryan five nights a week. It makes me feel like a housewife. I love that. The pale gray cabinetry and white marble countertops with black hardware give the kitchen a more minimalist feel, but there's nothing minimal about the patterns in this space. The ceiling is covered in black and white metallic patterned wallpaper, and the kitchen walls are tiled with geometric tiles from counter height to ceiling. The large copper farmhouse style sink adds another metallic touch. The bold kitchen also features plenty of space for both food prep and eating. The center of the kitchen is fitted with a large island and an additional sink. At the opposite side of the room, there is also a two-tier island with seating on both sides. Kuoko's dining room takes us out of the city and into the jungle. Textured wallpaper lines all of the walls in the dining room, but it's more understated than the wallpaper in other rooms. The burlap-colored drapes are similarly calm. If you're wondering how a primarily beige room could be bold, we hear you, but it's actually the furniture and accents that do all of the talking in this space. Gold chairs, with velvet backs and furry seats no less, flank an expansive, low-profile glass dining table in the center of the room. Hammered brass chairs at the head and foot of the table serve up some added glam. Above the sideboard, you'll notice an interesting painting of a tiger with, um, something between its jaws. A dining room is for chowing down, after all. Kuoko's laundry room is a perfect example of why laundry is the least hated chore in the country, according to Real Simple. The large, galley-style room features built-in cabinetry just the same as the kitchen. Far from a little closet, this space has two windows that overlook the property. There's even a flat-screen television to watch while folding clothes. The room also has two large washing machines and two dryers for doing multiple loads at once. Plus, there's a sink for hand-washing delicates. Although it may be a functional room, Kuoko added wallpaper and an amber-colored chandelier to the ceiling. Okay, we're ready to do our laundry now. Since Kuoko handed over the reins of designing the living areas of her home, it's no surprise she trusted Andrews with the bedrooms. For one of the guest bedrooms, Andrews chose a metallic, cream, and gray color scheme and purchased furniture from Wayfair. Kuoko couldn't help but show her love for Andrews to Glamour, saying, He gets me and my taste. Kuoko gave a partial tour of the more intimate areas of her Californian mansion to Allure and dubbed a downstairs bedroom with ensuite bathroom her special boudoir. She also has a more personal boudoir, the master bedroom with adjoining bathroom and large walk-in closet upstairs. That room also makes use of a bright yet zen metallic color palette. You can't be a Hollywood actress without an in-home movie theater, right? Kuoko just so happens to have an awesome space to screen The Flight Attendant or Harley Quinn or rewatch all 12 seasons of The Big Bang Theory or anything else she might want to watch. The room has a different vibe than the rest of the home. In fact, if you didn't notice the equestrian art in the space, you might not think it was Kuoko's mansion. Unlike the bold or metallic rooms elsewhere in the house, this room has a cigar lounge feel to it. A pale pink sofa and two neutral chaise loungers are arranged to comfortably view the giant screen which is housed in a dark wooden built-in. It's way more regal than your local regal cinema. The room has paneled walls, soft pendant lighting against a dark ceiling, and even large accent panels of live-edge wood. Another fabulous room, of course. While showing a lure around her home, the former Big Bang Theory actress gave a tour of what the listing cites as a posh master bath. In the interview, you can see the star's impressive soaking tub beneath a set of windows, which offers a panorama of the property. Um, forget about the pool out back, that's the place to be. 
According to the listing, the room also has a vanity with double sinks and a musical shower, with added customizable temperature settings, naturally. While giving Allure the master bathroom tour, she also gave a sneak peek of some of her favorite beauty products from within her medicine cabinet. Her top three products were her Donna Karen Cashmere Mist Deodorant, Pomegranate Noir Perfume by Jo Malone, and her MAC Lip Conditioner. Cuoco's master bedroom doesn't just attach to a ginormous spa-like bathroom, it also attaches to not one, not two, but three connecting walk-in closets. We're not making this up, she told Allure during their tour. This is more of my boudoir. As you can see, I enjoy getting ready in every area of my house. The first walk-in closet has racks for hanging clothes and a wraparound shelf for hats. A center island and a built-in chest of drawers may provide storage for folded clothes or seasonal items. A large gold floor-to-ceiling mirror also fills the space. This first closet leads to another walk-in, which has shelves upon shelves for Kuoko and her husband's shoes. We may never know what's in the third closet as it can't be seen in the on-camera interview nor on the property listing. Nevertheless, you can certainly understand why Allure's Jamie Greenberg said she felt like she was at a huge Bloomingdale's. We don't know about Cuoco, but we'd sure miss this house. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about celebrity homes are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.